Hey everybody, it's Maria. Welcome back to my channel. I have a really big box here that came, opened, uh, directly from a company called Aklot. And we have a long association um, because they make ukuleles and harps or lyre harps and tongue drums. And so they have been so kind as to um, send me those in the past. Uh, and I think they even sent me an acoustic uh, nylon string guitar, which I'm happy to report um, because I was able to donate um, to a young boy who uh, wanted to learn guitar. So anyway, Aklot sent me this guitar. Not a ukulele, as you can see, it's huge. And asked if I wanted to demonstrate it. And I said, sure, why not? Anything to get my mind off bad news and onto music is a good thing, right? Okay. All right, let's get rid of this big box. Here's the, this is the good stuff anyway, right? A little damage to the box, but it's pretty heavy corrugated cardboard, so I think it should be fine. Am I gonna need a, oh, I didn't bring a scissor. Okay, here we go. All right. like when the gig bags aren't just plain old black. This is like a multicolored gray. Aklot, got a nice pouch in the front for your goodies. And I like that it's got backpack straps so that you can uh, wear it when you go hiking or wherever you wanna go. And it's got a handle too with a little mesh. Reinforced too, which is nice. All right, let's see what's in the goodie bag. Wow, they give you a lot. All right. You have a red and black strap, which has like racing stripes on it, which is kind of fun. A plastic pick guard if you want to protect the wood a little bit. Cleaning cloth. Extra set of strings. There are uh, tens, which are kind of light for me. I like 11 and 12s, but easier on the fingers, so maybe that's good for beginners. Comes with a capo, which is nice if you want to quickly change keys and you don't want to transpose a song. You can put a capo on it. This is nice when you need to change your strings so you're not. It makes it winding easier. It's a string winder. <laughs> and lastly, you get a tuner, which is, oh, not lastly, because there are a few picks. You get a tuner, which is nice, um, very helpful. You always want to play in tune. So I tune up every single time. And then you have some picks right here. And even a strap lock, which is nice. You can put this on either end of the um, buttons and this will help the strap from falling off thus you might drop the guitar which i've had that happen sometimes most of the time i've been fortunate enough to catch the guitar okay. let me put all this away and we'll open up the guitar <laughs> gracie's playing in her water dish that's funny put a pot in her water dish she never did that before I'll show you Gracie after. Okay. Of course, I will have to tune it up. I won't bore you with that. And multiple times until it stays in tune. It could take a long time depending on how often you play. Of course, kids just came home. Always when I try to do something, but I don't live in a house I live in a community of townhouses so that's to be expected and now a plane overhead 
Okay, they give you an Allen wrench for the truss rod, so in case you have to adjust the neck, if there's any bowing, you can have a luthier or somebody in your local music shop do that if you don't feel comfortable, or there are YouTube videos that you can follow along. It feels like a dreadnought, it's very light. So let me open it up and see what we have. it's a like I don't want to say it's a matte finish it's more like a satin finish and it's uh, looks like it's some type of uh, spruce okay I'll have to look up the specs to see if it's solid if they consider feels it actually does feel like a solid top um, nice grain I'll show you up close in a little bit and it looks like mahogany or sapele back and sides. I like the black purfling. You have chrome uh, tuners, yeah, chrome closed gear tuners, almost like a, a gunmetal gray, I wanna say. Painted black headstock with the Aklot logo. Protection over the strings, which let's open up now and see what this fretboard looks like. Wow, this is different. I have no idea what this wood is on the fretboard. It almost looks like walnut. Looks like a walnut fretboard. I'll look up the specs and put them on the screen in case I'm mistaken. It's model AKAG-2, made by Aklot. They actually make very nice instruments, so I'm, I'm hoping this will be as nice as the uh, other instruments that I've received from them were. And I will tune this up and give you a demonstration. I'll be right back. Okay, tuned up quite easily actually, which is really great. So we've got really low action, which is going to be great for beginners, which means that the strings are nice and close to the fretboard without buzzing though. No buzzing, good intonation. So an E here. octave higher E A D G B E and it should sound the same at the 12th fret nice sustain I'll do some strumming and then some finger picking and maybe play a song Sustain, nice sustain, and so some picking with the pick. some picking with the hands, you know, you can. You can pick up high in the neck.
starting to get a little out of tune, but again, you have to keep playing it, keep playing it, keep playing it, and eventually, if you play it for a week straight, even less, it will be very easy to stay in tune, and you'll be able to keep it in tune for more than just one song or two. So this is actually a really nice guitar, very lightweight, and uh, oh, that was my dog's toy. And you can see the grain on this beautiful top. It's a little more yellow in person than the video is actually showing, but that's not so bad. And it will change with time because wood does change. You can see it right there. That's about the actual color. I'm outside, so it's natural light. And this is the back. And this is what I was talking about with the gunmetal gray uh, tuning pegs. Really nice. I like the shape of the headstock. This Aklot logo. And so I'm talking about maybe this is a walnut neck. I will, a uh, fretboard, I mean. I will definitely look up the specs for that. That's really pretty though. Can you see it? Aklot. And the saddle and the bridge. Pins. And the purfling. You can see the purfling is really nice. All right. Let me get a music book and I'll play a tune. a little Sarah McLaughlin on this nice Aklot acoustic guitar. Really easy to play actually. Just kept, got out of the box within the last half hour and um, already staying in tune. So uh, this, I really think it's a nice guitar. Okay, so thank you so much. Uh, thank you Aklot for sending this to me. I really appreciate it. Stay tuned. I'm going to play a little finger style classical piece on this. pieces on here. Of course I need to practice more but I don't often get to do that. Um, that was a little of Bianco Fiore. Um, who wrote that? Cesar Negre. So you can do classical pieces even with steel strings as you can see. Um, folk, pop, rock, 
entertain your doggy? You like it? You like the music? You like the music? Yes. <laughs> She's a dog. You want to take a talk? You want to take a talk? Thanks for talk. Thanks again, everybody. You're a good girl. You're a good girl. <laughs> Gracie, you can sell. <laughs> what? <laughs> you want my attention? You want my? She wants my attention. Yeah, you're so funny. You're so funny. You play guitar. <laughs> Thanks for watching everybody.